now central from the bus and on the right hand side is the ferry terminal so those ferries come from Hong Kong and China, mainland China and you can see to the left hand side this is the original city um, the main city which is the city of Macau now there's two other major cities one being Taipa and the other being Koh Tai so we're headed and we're on this huge bridge at the moment and we're headed to the other island and we're going to go to Koh Tai Central because that's where a lot of the new construction, a lot of the new buildings have been built. The problem with central Macau, what you're looking at right now, is there's no more land left. And the land that is available, well, it's scarce and it's bloody expensive. So that's why a lot of the developers nowadays are opting for places like Koh Tai or Tai Po to develop their projects, like condominium projects, hotels, and casinos. Uh, the other thing that is actually happening is I believe the government is actually pumping sand into the water to create more land. And they're doing that because it's cheaper to do that than um, actually continue building and using the land that they've got. Uh, they're running out of land and they need more. So that's the viable solution. Amazing, simply amazing. You can see to the left hand side there is a big bridge similar to the one that we're on and there's about probably about four of these giant bridges that go from one island to the next it's a little bit hard to see in the dark but uh, yeah, that's what we're on at the moment we're out in the middle of the ocean and it's uh, probably a you know a few kilometers probably at least two or three kilometers long the bridge that we're on now yeah very interesting get a better glimpse of the other bridge on the other side here. It goes from Macau and connects over to Taipa. Whereas here, on the other side, again a bit dark, but that out there, that's the ocean. So here you can see, uh, probably only a kilometre or a kilometre and a half away, uh, it feels longer than two or three kilometers this bridge. Maybe it's even as long as four or five kilometers long. I'm not exactly sure how long, uh, but you can see. But you can see just in front of us here is uh, uh, the city, the next island across, which is uh, Taipa. Very cool. not in uh, the Taipa area there, he invested in Port Koh Tai Central, which is where we're headed next. And from that particular development, which is City of Dreams, he made an absolute bundle. My understanding is between him and Stanley Ho, they made around $6 billion. This is the City of Dreams. Now that is one poor building. Macau is a very futuristic looking city, something you'd imagine seeing out of a movie like Blade Runner. And that's new, I haven't seen that yet, the new Eiffel Tower. This here is actually the city of dreams. The 
Conrad Hotel and the Sheraton.